This turbine is a very popular design. You will see it all over AliExpress and Alibaba and eBay. It's claimed to be a 400 watt turbine. I've seen a lot of people post these things, post videos about them. Say they're awful and uh, they don't post a whole lot of real details about how they have it set up or anything. I have no expectations for this mill to be a fantastic piece of equipment and I'm going to go into a few reasons why it's not just by default here in just a moment. But I'm going to set it up. I'm going to show you guys the entire system from the pole all the way down to the batteries and the inverter and you'll see exactly how I have it set up and see how it performs in that fashion. Now I'm going to do several of these turbines but on the others I'm probably going to tell you who I got it from and all the information. This one I am not because ultimately I got it for free. Now the reason I got it for free and I'll attach these pictures in here somehow is because as soon as it came out of the box there was virtually no thread engagement at the hub. Uh, I didn't know if that was a fault or if that's just how this particular mill went together. I tried it anyway. Like I said, very little thread engagement for the bolt. It didn't even actually get to the locking material on the nut. Uh, and whenever you turn it, kind of rattle a little bit. Just didn't feel right. Uh, did give it a little wind and it generated some power, but it rattled. It made like a grinding noise. So I pulled it back down, pulled everything apart, and as it turns out, the axle or uh, shaft was not pressed into the rotor assembly properly and the keyway had actually fallen out. So the rotor would spin free of the shaft if you know the right circumstances presented itself. I got that put together back the way it was supposed to um, went to turning it again and again it did not turn very cleanly in fact it would lock in place sometimes And that would, uh, you know, it was alarming. So I took it back apart. I actually removed the rotor from the front housing so that I could see what it was hanging on. And there was a giant, well, giant by the standards of the, of the hardware on this mill, uh, lock washer just floating around in there. It's a 19 millimeter lock washer. There isn't anything on this turbine that that lock washer would even fit. Have no idea what it was doing in there. Just loose. And it was an obviously used lock washer that had not only used, it had had enough force applied to it for long enough that it was completely crushed. It had no spring back to it. So a used worn out lock washer floating around underneath all the magnets. It actually chipped some of the magnet material off the hub, banged things up, but uh, pulled it back apart and pulled that out, put it all back together. Turns smoothly now and it, it still generates a little bit of electricity at the leads, so we're going to see what happens. Now, the reason why I got this for free is obviously you have this kind of trouble with a seller, I mean with, an, with a product, you contact the seller, you tell them, hey, what the hell. Um, because of the issues that I had and the amount of work I had to put into it just to make the rotor turn smoothly and properly, uh, they just refunded it and said, you can have it, it's fine. And uh, I think that that's, uh, that makes a seller 
pretty good, but I am reluctant to share who it is because I don't want people taking advantage of that generosity. You should do that with any seller, any product. If it comes in and it doesn't do what the what the listing says it'll do, what the seller says it'll do, then you should complain and you should get your money's worth and your money what your money is worth is exactly what the listing says it is. So the things I think that are interesting about this that I haven't dealt with with any of the other mills, the blades are primarily the thing that are weird for me. Um, and the weird thing is, I'll see if I can get this to, to show it, but at the tips, they're almost, uh, well they're not almost, they are basically turning against the wind. I don't know if whenever this thing spools up, if because this initial scoop is so aggressive, it's actually expecting these blades to twist. Not really sure. The blades seem pretty rigid and stiff to me. So, who knows? I do know my depth perception is bad looking through a camera. I do know that each blade is exactly the same. So they're all going against the wind, against the thrust. I cannot think of the right word for that. They had wrong angle of attack. I don't know. We're going to see how that works. It just seems really off to me. Now this is all, a lot of it's new to me. So maybe there is a, an effect there that I'm just not familiar with. Another thing. This nose cone, I expect it to be up there maybe a week. There's like nothing holding it on. So it's just got a little lip on the inside. I'm sure anybody who's put one of these together is familiar with exactly how it works. There's a little bit of a lip, but there's no sticking force to it at all. I can just Flick that right off, it, and it requires almost no effort. Uh, so I expect that to be on the ground one morning whenever I go out and check it out. Uh, I do like on this one, the other mills that I've put up, leads were not quite that long. And uh, it's pretty heavy wire for what I have seen on the other 500 watt turbines that I've played with 500 600 and smaller uh, It's not quite 10 gauge, but it's bigger than 12 gauge uh, I don't know if there is a standard in in China. I would say, you know, it's it's metric But it also doesn't really it kind of falls in between a metric sizes as well uh, should be more than enough to handle the uh, 400 watts that it might make if the specs are right. Um, I'll also attach some pictures of the rotor and the core everything. I took all this apart and uh, we'll see what it does. For making this mount to be part of the video but the tripod fell over and half of it's gone anyway, so I figure I can just show you how I made it and be close enough. This is just a fence post by Lowe's or Home Depot for eight dollars. A crummy weld in the middle and just made it into a T. That is 12 gauge all weather direct burial Romax. Nothing special about that. Post it's braced. Just a couple of real simple C clamps. And it's bolted to the purlins in the top of the shop. It's a pole built shop. Everything's pretty easy to get to, and I'm not too concerned about damaging it. The little holes will be patched if they need to be. There's little rubber gaskets under them just in case it does get wet. Top of the pole. What I don't like about this mount, it'll 
combustible. What I don't like about this mount is that uh, I just had a hard time finding a pipe that it would fit nicely. These are exhaust fittings that I picked up from AutoZone or O'Reilly's. Again, welded together. Nothing about it's very pretty, but it'll do what I need it to do. And just immediately, what I notice is that, whereas that thing, it'll start up in a good puff. And it'll make about 10 watts, which is nothing where it's doing, but it's not even enough to point these into the wind. I don't really like the way the tail is made on this. It seems like that doesn't help. And I'm thinking that those blades are meant for high wind speed, I guess. I don't know. That's supposed to be a little breezier tonight, so we'll see how it goes. 100 watt mill pokes in up there at the top, drops down to that rectifier, and goes down here to the bottom. So any videos that I post of this, that's going to be the one that's showing that one's output. And we'll see what it does. The 700. That thing ain't even turning. So far. It's supposed to have more wind later. Maybe it just needs a lot of wind. Five miles an hour now. It took a little bit of a gust to get it going. But even as the winds slowed down, it stayed running. actually doing anything. I peaked at 25 watts and one amp. Not fantastic but the wind is barely moving. It is already doing more in this wind, at five watts, or at five miles an hour. I think I just saw 30. Whereas the 500 watt turbine is doing eight. We got a little wind. It's coming and going. Let it spool up a few times. So far peaked at 112. This is a little easier to film because I can duck down behind the shot. It's a solid north wind. Right now it's maybe 10 miles an hour. But over the last uh, hour, we've had gusts over 30, and it's been up sustaining close to 20 now and then. So. This one's still pretty stable, those blades, man, they hardly would start up at all earlier. But now in higher wind, it's a little quieter than the others. I like that. Let's go see what it's kicking out. There's one on the bottom here. This is rated at 400 watts. Peak has been 483 watts, but that was probably way over the 25 mile an hour rated wind speed.
this 400 watt turbine I happen to be out here just a moment ago good gust hit it 10.78 amps 562 watts it only held it for you know a second it was a gust maybe 30 miles an hour they're getting hit pretty hard right now we're seeing what it might do cleared 400 440 700 to 500. Right now they're kicking out enough voltage that the uh, the grid tie is aired out. 1091. My goodness. <laughs> I 